Hello YouTube, the doctor is here once again with my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot. So, let's get started. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot is basically the story of the Ninja Turtles. If you don't know who they are, they're basically four turtles who get accidentally created by this like liquid ooze. Then they turn into Ninja Turtles and they've been raised in the sewers by a rat who trains them Nujitsu and teach them how to basically have discipline and fight Kung Fu and protect people from New York City. Now this movie, totally different from what the originals were. For me personally, I thought I was going to be scared because Michael Bay was producing it and everybody knows how Michael Bay likes to take movies and turn them differently and differently and differently. If you know what I'm talking about, if you've seen Transformers 4 or the other Transformers movies. So this movie basically starts stars Megan Fox. Yes, Megan Fox is back on the big screen once again doing movies and she was great. I so happy that she's back doing movies again because I kinda missed her. She was gone from Transformers 3 and 4 and we didn't know where she were. So she's back and it also stars Will Arnett and this movie is very 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 different from what the originals were. Basically in this one Something happens. I mean, the story, the origin of what the turtles were, is different. I mean, accidentally they weren't created. They were created purposely, so they can basically be super soldiers in a way, so they can help out the military and help out other people. You know, do good things or bad things in this case. And you know, the Foot Clan is here, and you know they are, the they they listen to Shredder, who is their leader. And in this movie, Shredder was very, how can I say this, very different from what he was in the original. I mean, of course, he has his background story was he's Japanese, he's from Japan, he just wants to take over the world. Of course, his Foot Clan were different. They weren't really ninjas, they were just muscle people who just had guns instead of, you know, following the footsteps of the ninja. You know, because if, if you know the original movies... You know, the Foot Clan, they were all ninjas. They hide and mis hide in the shadows and they steal. Without anybody knows, in the blink of an eye, things are gone and you don't even know what, what's going on. So let me talk about what the good things about this movie. Ninja Turtles, great. They were great. They were awesome. I was really scared for what they were going to be. You know, too much CGI. They weren't going to be really people in suits like how the originals were in the 1990s. But it worked. You know, motion capture now is starting to get more famous. Thank you very much, Andy Circus. There's your shout out right there because you are the man. Now everybody's following your footsteps because motion capture is now the new thing. So we have motion capture and mixed with CG. And here's your Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello. They were all great. All four of them were great. For me personally, my favorite has always been Raph. And I was very scared of what they were going to do with him in this movie. But he was awesome. He was badass. He was sarcastic. He was snobby. He was spoiled. But he was great. The one thing I really liked in this movie. Splinter. Splinter in the original movies. If you know who he is. He, he raises the Ninja Turtles. And chains them to become ninjas. And the other ones he was more of a father figure. And in this one he is too. But in this one he's more of a sensei. And they follow him. They listen to him. They bow down to him. They do everything. And if you they mess up, he yells. Yeah, basically he yells at them and he tells them to go to a corner and do push-ups or whatever it is. And that's what basically what a sensei would do, you know, teach you discipline. Because in the original movies, he was more of a father figure. They would mess up, yes, of course. But, you know, he would try to teach them as a father. In this one, he teaches them the ways of the ninja as a sensei should and always has done. So, yeah, that's one of my biggest grateful things I like about this movie. They were all hilarious. Mikey, he was hilarious, as always. He's always been the funny one. He was great. Leonardo was the leader. He showed why he was the leader. One of the Ninja Turtles I was really scared for was Donatello, but he was more techie than he was. But he was still a genius, of course. He did things in, like really, really quick for tech. I was like, wow, that was quick. So, yeah, I enjoyed that. But unfortunately, there were some things that did not work. Um, there was the Foot Clan. 
I mean, they're supposed to be more like ninjas. And this is more like just soldiers, you know, following orders from a general, which in this case was Shredder. And, you know, Shredder, for what he was, he was okay. He was Michael Bayified, if you will. You know, Michael Bay likes to take things and turn it his own way. But that's okay. I mean, thank God he wasn't directing this movie because it probably would have been downhill from here. I mean, good he was behind the scenes. He was just a producer because a lot of people wanted to take off his head because he was talking about, oh, how you, how you want to make the Ninja Turtles aliens. And everybody was freaking out because they didn't want that to happen. But don't worry, they're not aliens in this movie, so don't worry about that. So if you're going to go see this movie, you can go with with a breathing thought. They're not tur they're turtles, they're ninjas, they're from the sewer, they're not aliens. They don't beam down from Earth, they're not from different planets, they're, they're turtles and they're ninjas. And that's good. So, yeah, but, you know, Shredder for what he was, I liked him, but, you know, there were moments where I was like, wow... He did not make sense to me. I mean, the story is what it is. It's just just to be more entertaining. You know, now nowadays, a lot of kids now of this generation, they don't know what the Ninja Turtles were back in the day because they were in the, that was the 90s and, you know, 80s, kids watching them. The parents might know what the original Ninja Turtles were. I know what the original Ninja Turtles were because, you know, I grew up with the 90s. And, and then, you know, kids today, they won't know. They, they see the new cartoons. They're like, oh, my God, the Turtles, that they can fight and they... Like pizza. Boy, do they eat pizza in this movie. It's hilarious. It was great. A lot of good comedy, comedy stuff in this movie. But, you know, the jokes were great. You know, there were some moments I was like, eh, it's okay. But, you know, I enjoyed the heck out of this movie. It was great. I was really scared for what this movie was going to be. Because I didn't know what to think about that. Because I saw the trailers. I was like, eh, he looks okay. That, that looks okay. Who is Shredder? William Fickner was in this movie. He was great for what he was. But I really wish they used him more. Because you kind of figure it out in the trailers that he was going to be the bad guy or whatever. But, you know, you kind of figure that out from the trailers. It's not much of a spoiler right there. You kind of figure out. But he's not Shredder. Just letting you know that Shredder's his own guy. And you, you'll see him in the movie. But, yeah, it was great for what it was. So, I'm going to give him in the trailers a 10 for what it was. I loved it. It was great. It was hilarious. Had a lot of action scenes. I feel much better now that they're back to normal for what they were. So, you know, let me know what you think about this. If you want to watch it, great. Let me know what you think of it. If you grew up with the original materials, you might have some problems with this movie like I did. But, you know, for what it was, it was more of a for kids. For this generation, it kind of makes sense for what they did. So the, they butchered the... The, the origin of the Ninja Turtles a little bit, but that's okay for what, like I said, kids today, they won't even care. They just want to see turtles fight, and they did just that. So, you know, congratulations to Nickelodeon for what they did. Good job with the movie. I liked it a lot. It was great, fantastic. So, like I said, I'll give it a 10. So, let me know what you think. Watch this video if you like it. Just give me that thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down, you know what I mean. So, thank you very much. Until next time.